When something bad happens, do you play it over and over in your mind? Can you get stuck in your thoughts? If so, you're gonna wanna watch this. In this one video, I'm gonna give you A to Z on a practice that if you do every day consistently and with patience with yourself, you can completely reprogram your mind. Number one, thoughts create emotion. The thoughts that you think today are most probably the same thoughts that you had yesterday, the day before that, maybe last year. And those could be very similar to the thoughts of your parents, your grandparents, and your ancestors. And you can break that generational pattern of those thoughts because thoughts create emotion. So become aware that every time you have a thought, you'll get an emotion and that happens immediately. So number two, imagine your thought like a path and you have those thoughts, your parents and your grandparents all had the same thoughts. So that means you guys have been walking down the same path over and over. Just like in a forest, if you walk down the same path for hundreds and hundreds of years, that path will not have any trees on it. No grass, just gravel. That path is so clear, it's easy to take. You know how I said thoughts create emotion? Well, at the end of that negative thought pattern, you have those emotions and you know that that path creates really crappy emotions. When you notice yourself overthinking thoughts that don't make you feel good, it's because you're walking on that same path, reaching that same destination. So to change the outcome of your emotions, you would have to change the thought pattern, which means create a new path. I want you to think about that the same as the neural network in your mind. For those of you who are familiar with creating new synaptic connections, my technique is slightly different than Dr. Joe Dispenza and Dr. Bruce Lipton. I've added something in the stop change technique, which I'm going to explain to you, that may make this reprogramming a little easier. So to create a new path in the forest, you would have to work on that path every day. Mow the lawn, pick out all the weeds. It's not easy to create a new path in the forest, especially on the storms, the rainy days, or if it's snowing, because the weeds and the branches are just gonna keep growing and you have to keep cutting them because you're the first one to create that path. So this is why I say be patient with yourself when you're creating a new synaptic connection. When you find yourself ruminating and overthinking, I need you to stop because what you're doing is you're creating this new path and you're healing and you're feeling good. And then on a hard day, you're going back to the old path because it's easier and it's familiar. So on the hard days, you're going back to your old negative ruminating thought patterns, which you probably don't do on good days, but you're doing it on the hard days. So you have to tell yourself to stop. But here's where my technique is a little different than others. Instead of the stop change, I would add in a word, validate. So you stop your thoughts and then you tell yourself, it's okay to feel. I'm allowed to feel. Become your best friend. Those thoughts and feelings are in your ancestral DNA. You can't just stop them, change, and expect them to go forever. You need to validate them because nobody ever got validated. That's why they still had the thoughts. How do you validate? That's the most important part. Well, there's a technique that I've been using for years with myself and my clients that has worked like you wouldn't believe. Time travel reparenting. Imagine yourself in about five, 10 years, and that person has their together. That version of you is so proud of you. And they're at the end of that new path. They are living their best life, feeling all those good emotions. And they sometimes have like negative emotions, but they don't ruminate on them. Well, I need you to connect with the older you. I have quite a few videos on my YouTube channel of how to create that first connection with your future self. But if you don't want those videos, you could even do it on your own. Close your eyes and talk to your future self and let them talk to you. And you're gonna notice, they say a lot of loving things. Your older you is so proud of you for taking this step. By doing this, you're breaking so much generational trauma and you're the first one to do it. I want you to be proud of yourself. So stop, validate, change. Sometimes journaling is really not beneficial for ruminators. Instead, write everything that you feel and then write a list beside it of all the new thoughts that you would like to have. And that's the change. All those new thoughts that you would like to create when you notice yourself having those really uncomfortable thoughts, stop the thoughts that don't make you feel good, validate what you're feeling, and change to a new thought pattern that you would like to have. Practice this consistently and watch your mind and life change.